Hello there, Lunar Squadron. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to our episodic breakdown series. As you guys know, we have already broken down episodes 1, 2, and 3, going through all of those storyboards, either which were revealed during the Developer Diary trailer, or which we made ourselves. We made, you know, our own episode 3 storyboard. This time around, we are back to the TT Games made storyboards, and this is actually the last one that we have, which is confirmed and was actually developed and implemented into the game. It is the A New Hope storyboard. Now, there are a lot of interesting things to note with this storyboard, a lot of things which seem to be out of place and a lot of really cool details. We are going to be breaking these down one at a time, but one thing's for sure, and that is episode four will come along with it, some of our favorite locations and some of our favorite characters. This episode is fire, but first, a message from Nick. Yep, so if you are new to the channel, we would love to have you as always, and the way to do that is just go down below this video, hit that little subscribe button, the bell notification right on next to it, it will notify you every single time Andreas and I upload. Also, if you've not yet joined our Discord server, what are you doing? Come join us in our Discord, we honestly have a great time, it's a great way for you to get to know us better, for us to get to know you better, it's honestly such a fun time over there, we're always active in there talking to people, it really is a great time. Link to join that will be down below in the description, definitely get involved in that. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this gameplay breakdown for Episode 4, A New Hope. This is Lunar Squadron standing by, we are ready to make the jump to hyperspace. On my mark, Lunar Squadron. So just like every other confirmed storyboard that we've seen up to this point, that being for episode 1 and episode 2 and now episode 4, episode 4 will start with the main intro and it looks like they will be using the intros from the actual Star Wars film as here we see perhaps one of the most iconic intros in all of cinema history, that being the TANF-4 being chased by the Star Destroyer with the Star Destroyer coming overhead on the camera. Truly an iconic shot, really excited to see that in the Skywalker Saga. And then unlike Episode 1 and Episode 2, there are actually no pre-levels that lead into the first main level. That's right, we're jumping right into a main level, that being a diplomatic mission. Now, in a minute, we're going to jump into what makes this exactly a very unique level, because it is a little different than some of the other main levels we've seen, but you will start off by playing as Princess Leia on the TANF-4, and it looks like you will be accompanied by either a random rebel soldier, or perhaps it could be Captain Antilles or something like that, someone more noteworthy. We're not entirely sure, but we have seen footage of this level where you are fighting off stormtroopers that are breaking their way into the TANF, and then, ultimately, you will then be thrown into the mid -trose sequence which is a cutscene that we have also seen where you will be handed off to the droids won't you Andreas? That's right Nick you're going to be handing off those Death Star plans and then as the droids meaning R2 and C-3PO of course you are going to be taking very good care of these Death Star plans as you take them all the way to that escape pod which is going to be yeeted all the way down to the surface of Tatooine lodged into the sands of the Tatooine Desert. What a great way to start off this episode, this film, just like the actual film plays out. You are going to be following the droids here, and one thing that we absolutely love about this game is that it is going to follow the movies because of these pre-levels it has the ability to follow the movies from a to z including some of these segments like being plopped in the desert and kind of figuring out you know what the hell are you going to do where are you going to go and we do have some theories as to where you're going to go and it might involve a sand crawler in this next pre-level right nick yeah, I completely agree, Andres. One thing that I really love about LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga, at least the way that it is made, is that it is going to allow us to follow the films much closely to the way the story actually unfolded in those films, and we're really starting to see that from these storyboards. However, I want to talk about the next two thumbnails and really an issue that I noticed with them, and perhaps it was just a mistake on TT Games. 
I'm talking about this pre-level two, which is the Tatooine Desert, and then the next thumbnail, that being the hub midro of the Binary Sunset. Now, this pre-level to me, Andreas, is when R2 actually goes on the run, and Luke and C-3PO go chasing after him into the canyon, and then they have their little showdown with the Tusken Raiders that doesn't go very well, and ultimately they are saved by Ben Kenobi. However, that Binary Sunset, which is the next thumbnail, actually happens before that sequence in the film, so to me... That doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, it is either a mistake on TT's part, or perhaps this hub intro is actually referring to the Obi-Wan house sequence, and they just picked the wrong picture. I'm not entirely sure here, because we do know the binary sunset will be a cutscene, but we also know that there will be a cutscene of Luke and Obi-Wan in his house, where Obi-Wan gifts him his lightsaber. So, just the ordering of this on this storyboard really confuses me, and there's honestly a couple moments throughout this storyboard where I feel like they got the order of things wrong. This is just something that really stood out to me because the very next sequence, Andreas, is us in Mos Eisley, isn't it? Yeah, which it clearly shows that you are in Mos Eisley with Ben and that makes perfect sense because in the movie you don't, you know, head to Mos Eisley until you do meet Ben Kenobi. Hello there. Hello there. And so it kind of does glaze over in the storyboard at least that those Ben Kenobi house sequences that you're referring to and those cutscenes that we have seen time and time again. However, what we do know is that you will ultimately be headed to Mos Eisley. And one important thing that I do want to point out on this thumbnail is you, if you zoom in, you do get a glimpse of how you will be entering vehicles in this game. You see a prompt for the Y button, which also leads us to believe that this is either a PC build using a Xbox controller, or this is on Xbox. But nonetheless, uh, there is a Y button indicator on top of the uh, land speeder here, which does indicate that you will be pressing the Y button, or if you're on PlayStation, the triangle button to ultimately board vehicles in this game just a cool thing that we've never really seen so far and while you're in most Eisley, there are quite a few things that you can do uh, on your way through this mission you can you know stop and smell the flowers as we know this is a pre-level so you probably have the option to go around do things like discover you know the great mysteries of most Eisley, like whether or not uh, Greedo shot first we've seen that that's not going to be a main level in this game but we do know that you're ultimately going to have to make your way to the cantina where you will be meeting two of our very favorite Star Wars characters right? Yep, that being Chewbacca and Han Solo, and we've actually seen a glimpse of this cantina sequence in one of the gameplay trailers where we saw Chewbacca just wreaking havoc in the cantina. Now, the very next thing you are going to do is actually the second main level for this game, and in the developer diary, we actually got a pretty cool look at what exactly we think the composition of this main level is going to be. It appears that you will have to be putting this hunk of junk, the Millennium Falcon, back together while fighting off waves of stormtroopers, ultimately hold them off while you put it back together, and then make your great escape from Moss Eisley out into space, all the while being chased by a couple of Star Destroyers, which, Andreas, doesn't seem very fair. Two Star Destroyers versus a Millennium Falcon? Like, that seems like a little much. That's, that's just how I feel about it. But... The very next sequence, again, no pre-level. There's not a lot of pre-levels in Episode 4 A New Hope in this game. You are thrust right into another main level, aren't you, Andreas? That you are, and that's a great observation. There really aren't as many, and part of me is wondering if this storyboard is kind of an early build type thing. Maybe they've filled it out with more pre-levels because of some of those details we've noticed. We'll get into that later as well. But the next main level that we do see is Princess Rescue, the spiritual successor to some of our favorite uh, level in the complete saga. This one is where you are going to be disguised as a stormtrooper as Luke and Han delivering, you know, or delivering in air quotes, Chewbacca into the Death Star. And then ultimately you will be rescuing Princess Leia. And then one thing to note here is this main level is actually going to be followed up with by a pre-level where you are not disguised anymore. Uh, you were running around the Death Star as Han Solo, right? Yeah, so this one is a little weird to me. I wonder here if this is another sequence where they happen to just get the order wrong, even though it does say it's a pre-level for the fourth level, just because it doesn't make a ton of sense to me to have that main level 
on the Death Star rescuing the princess and then having a pre-level and then following it up with the next main level being some rescue where it looks like you will start in the trash compactor because in the film... You go from rescuing the princess, and then they thrown right into the trash compactor. Like, the characters go from the prison block cell straight down into the trash compactor. So this pre-level breaking up these two main levels, honestly, Andreas, is very confusing to me. I'm very interested to see if that's something that made it into the final build of this game and how exactly it is going to work. Again, part of me just thinks it is out of order and shouldn't be there, just with a few other things on this storyboard, but really confusing. But... Nevertheless, the very next thumbnail is actually the fourth main level of this game. That's right, there will be two main levels in Episode 4 on the Death Star, this being some rescue where you will have to escape the Death Star. To me, Andreas, this is going to pretty much take up the entire second half of the Death Star sequence. Escaping the Trash Compactor, which it appears from this thumbnail, the Dianoga is actually going to be some sort of mini-boss or boss battle, which is pretty cool. I hadn't really considered that going into A New Hope, and then... I assume you will be fighting your way out of the Death Star like they do in the film, going through the hallways, fighting off stormtroopers. And then, Andreas, one question I do have. Do we think Ben Kenobi versus Darth Vader will be a playable section, or is it just going to be handled in a cutscene, or are you just going to watch it happen? What do we think? Are we going to get to fight Darth Vader as Ben Kenobi in this game? You know, if I had to guess, just by looking at this thumbnail for some rescue, where you do see that you are controlling Luke Skywalker... I'd have to guess that you are going to be controlling Luke and Han, uh, and you will probably perceive the fight happen. It just seems like kind of a break of flow to switch from escaping the Death Star with Luke and Han, and then kind of transporting to that fight. And then for co-op, how do you do that fight? Are you going to, you know, fight against the person that you're playing with, like like you did in Darth Vader uh, in that, you know, level in the complete saga on Mustafar? Um, not sure if you know, if and how that would work, but who knows? I mean, surprise us, TT Games. I'd love to see it. It'd be kind of cool. That said, that is the thumbnail that we were given for some rescue. One final detail that I do want to point out is it looks like the boss battle health bar is on the bottom, whereas in the past, we've seen it on the top of the screen. Just kind of more evidence that this might be an early build of the game uh, where they may have moved the boss battle life bars to the top later on in development. Who knows? But what we do know is that the next pre-level is going to be in Yavin local space. And we do know that we are also ultimately going to be winding down onto the surface of Yavin in the next pre-level, right? Yeah, and honestly, the coolest thing to take from this is this is our first actual shot of Yavin. We did see just some background of Yavin in that little gif that was posted by the LEGO Star Wars Twitter account of Luke's appearances, but we've never really gotten to see what Yavin actually looks like in this game, and this thumbnail is our first real look at it. There's not much to look at other than it looks like there will be a lot of verticality at this temple or base, rebel base on Yavin. It looks like you'll be able to go upstairs and you'll be able to go down in the hangar, so that's pretty cool. It looks like Yavin will be pretty explorable. Very excited to see how this Yavin is different from the Battlefront 2 Honestly, Andreas, that is one thing I'm really interested in this game is just seeing how different the planets are and locations are from Battlefront 2's interpretation and this game's interpretation because it appears like things like Naboo and Theed are very similar, but just something I'm very interested to see how that plays out. Now, the next thumbnail is actually the last main level of A New Hope, and it looks like it is going to be broken up into two segments like we've seen in the past. However, Andreas... I think here's another instance of them getting the order wrong because this first thumbnail appears to me, at least, to be the trench run. And then the very next thumbnail is when you are fighting off the TIE Fighter and the defenses of the Death Star trying to break into the trench run like we see in the film. So what do you think, Andreas? Did they get this order wrong or are we going to be doing the trench run first? Because it looks like to me they might have gotten the order wrong here. I mean, it definitely does look a lot narrower. The second is labeled Battle of Yavin B and that's where it kind of opens up. Uh, Battle of Yavin A here definitely looks more like the trench run uh, and a trench, uh, which is much more narrow than, you know, that wide open area in Battle of Yavin B. That said, it could be that there are some narrower sections which then open up and then maybe narrow down again. Uh, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here, but again, there are just so many signs throughout the episode 4 storyboard, which just make it appear like this is an earlier build of the game. One final point of that actually is you can see that the health bar or what appears to be the health bar in this Battle of Yavin A shot is what appears to be a lightsaber. It looks totally different from the ship life bars that we've seen 
ever since, which do not look like this lightsaber that we do see here. They look more of like a standard red life bar here. So I do think that there's just so many reasons here to believe that, you know, these storyboards were generated early on in the life of this game and its development, and they were kind of used to ultimately steer the direction of the story, perhaps. Yeah, I really am interested to see how A New Hope actually ends up being in this game, because I completely agree with you. Just given some of the discrepancies on this storyboard from the way we know the film goes down, and the fact that this is a much smaller list compared to the Episode 1 and 2 storyboard, I know not as much happens in A New Hope. I'm really interested to see if there are more pre-levels we get to get to see and play, and just the way the main levels are broken down. I really think this is a very early version of A New Hope, if anything. I don't think there's anything really to take from this as far as like what the overall final build of this game is going to be. I'm sure it's going to be great. It is the original Star Wars film. It has to be great, because this game is going to be great, because we are nothing but positive on this channel these days because we are only a month away from this game's release. So let us know down below, guys, in the comments how excited you are to play New Hope in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, the original Star Wars film, or let us know down below in the comments which film trilogy you're going to be starting with, you're most excited for. We love to hear from all of you and love reading through all these comments, so definitely let us know down below. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for us for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, we will see you all next time.